In a dramatic move, Mayor Adams has directed police, EMS, and crisis teams to hospitalize more people with mental illness who are sleeping on the streets and subways, whether they like it or not. CBS 2's Ali Bauman has reaction. Adams says the city has a moral obligation to get them help, but some advocates argue that the plan addresses symptoms of homelessness without treating the root causes. Ramel Rich has been living on the streets in Greenwich Village for a few months now. I'm not mentally ill. I just have big issues. We asked him about the mayor's homeless outreach plan. I feel that's bad because a lot of hospitals and agencies are in force. They're against us. Um, people who have mental ill issues, you can't stop that. Hospitals aren't the answer. Mayor Adams is now directing first responders and outreach workers to transport people experiencing a mental health crisis to a hospital if they are a danger to themselves or unable to meet their basic needs. Adams insists state law gives him this authority. We believe this is the first time that a mayoral administration has given this direction on the basic needs standard and official guidance. The city will set up a teleconsult hotline, which first responders can use to show a clinical expert the person they're dealing with in real time. From there, teams decide whether to bring them in for a full psych eval. When that full evaluation happens, the psychiatrist may conclude this is not someone with mental illness, this is somebody who is on drugs. Different issue doesn't isn't part of the mental health law. The New York Civil Liberties Union, though, likens Adams's plan to the policies of former Mayor Rudy Giuliani. Acting as if you can sweep a problem out of public view, right, and it'll go away. Well, it doesn't go away. Um, it doesn't provide the treatment that's necessary for a long-term solution, and it causes great harm to individuals who are themselves hurting quite a bit. Some advocates argue City Hall should instead focus its efforts on permanent housing. Where will they be discharged to after they're done with the period of hospitalization or evaluation? While the Legal Aid Society applauds the mayor for addressing the mental health crisis, attorney Jeffrey Berman says the plan does not address the revolving door of prison. The people that the, the, the mayor Adams is speaking about um, often get arrested. Are we going to divert them into meaningful, robust community treatment so that they never, ever get arrested again and so that they never have to go to a psychiatric emergency room. The mayor also introduced an 11 point legislative agenda to fill the gaps in mental health laws. And Adams says the program may also be applied to people who are not experiencing homelessness. In Hell's Kitchen, Allie Bauman, CBS 2 News.